All right, very proud. Successfully uh, didn't negotiate, but was able to deduce how to, you know, get a ticket into the park because there's like 20 different destinations within this giant mountain resort. And, uh, you know, the fees associated with getting on and off a bus unlimited or one way up, one way down. So I splurged, I got the full day ticket with all the, you know, attractions as well as unlimited bus rides, which is sick. Got my little map here. Uh, got a little bracelet. I don't think you can see it right now, but you know, I'm ready to rock. Let's make this happen. So where I'm at is a giant national park because Nanjing was originally a uh, capital of China for like six dynasties. So that's a big deal. Maybe not to us in America, but you know, it's way, way longer than America has been in existence actually. So uh, this is one of the many, many paths that lead towards the tomb of someone famous. Um, it's not my actual goal, but uh, my goal closes at five and I'm on the first of a few stops. So I figured I gotta come here first. Okay, this is actually not the tomb I wanted to go to. It's kind of like a lesser known tomb, but I'm here, so I'm gonna check it out. So it's courtyard after courtyard after courtyard. It is like those Chinese movies of ancient Beijing where like helicopter views reveal this huge area. That's exactly what this is. So I'm gonna walk 200 meters here through a gate then probably another 200 meters uphill and repeat that three or four times and then hopefully we'll have some good views. All right. Yes, yes, yes. So again, I'm not sure if this is the, uh, the entryway of entryways or this is actually the destination. But all I know is there's people up there near the battlements and uh, we're going up there. This is deceptively steep. But again, I love all the stones. They're so rounded. They feel soft on your feet. There's no sharp edges because of thousands upon thousands of feet uh, rounding the corners off. Okay, super bright up here. Take a look here. Hey, all right. I'm not sure, I think we made it. I think this is it. I think this is it. And we're going back there. And I found my little bus that I need to take up to my final and main destination for today. Sun Yat Sen's mausoleum. It better be everything I expected and more, man. Yes, yes, I made it through the ticket gate. We're getting very, very close. You know how I know? Because there's another freaking Kentucky Fried Chicken there. All right. And also because there it is right there. Let's go. All right, it's the calm before the storm, before I ascend to the major attraction. And of course, lo and behold, I'm learning something cultural about China. People come to sleep at cafes and KFC is everywhere where tourists are. So it's this, it's basically like a menagerie of goodies and gift shops, since this is the main attraction on the mountain. And in case you're tired, no worries. I got you the uh, New York Energy Station right here. Super excited, man. Since I first studied uh, Mandarin, first started, you know, years ago, my first textbook actually uh, had a chapter entirely uh, dedicated to this man and this memorial and how big it is. So again, we're beginning the walk through Courtyard One. We've got a few more levels of steps to uh, reach all the way there, but uh, we're gonna do it. Okay, about 10 minutes later of walking through a few gates and we made it to an epic view spot. Yes, 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 yes. This is what I've seen in the picture books. And the view looking back down is also quite phenomenal. So let's do it. So we finally made it. I'm gonna wait in line and uh, take a lap inside to pay my respects or homage, I guess it says. And the view up here is freaking breathtaking. Uh, due to the fog inherent at Nanjing, I don't think you can see lots of the buildings and epic hills. Also due to the glare, but you can kind of see all the stairs that we came up. Pretty sweet. Let's line up and go inside. So it's pretty cool. Uh, after a long walk and a few days journey, we made it to the top. And uh, you are christened with a little bit of a garden up at the top, which is pretty cool. I just got done walking through the actual mausoleum behind me which is as entertaining as a mausoleum could be. So uh, I think we're gonna head back down, head back into the city and look for some grub to eat for my last night here in Nanjing. 
so I had no amazing plans for tonight's dinner. I just kind of walked up and down Nanjing, checking out what looks really good. And I found something that looked really, really, really good right here. It's like the biggest jiaozi uh, I've ever seen. This guy right here. And they're making it here, so that's awesome. So it's basically a beef-filled pot sticker. So uh, I got five of them for under $2. So let's see how it looks, huh? Those are my bad boys. Come back, please. Five of these giant pot stickers filled with beef for under $2. And I'm just going to make, look at this guy. Anyway, Chinese food is amazing and super cheap and super delicious. And uh, I was speaking with some friends. I was originally a little bit scared at some of these uh, unknown restaurants on the side. But they said basically the Chinese government constantly regulates these places to make sure they're clean. And the biggest thing is they're just cheap. They're cheap and they're delicious. It's authentic. You really can't go wrong with pretty much any place you pick. It's just a matter of uh, which region of China's food you want to try. This homeboy sold me on this uh, goat soup. Gotta try this. So you actually get a pick what you want inside of it, which is kind of cool. And this guy sold me on the way he likes to create it because I'm not sure actually. So he'll do it himself. So interesting, and this is my spot. Well, I am one fat and happy man, boy, child, what have you. And I'm sweating profusely because of the la jiao, the pepper that you kind of have to have to add because it would kind of be insulting if you didn't. And it really is worthwhile if you can stomach it. So all right, guys, I'm gonna turn in. I gotta get some sleep tomorrow morning. Gotta go to Guangzhou, which is like a nine hour uh, high speed rail ride. Um, so look forward to more videos then, see you. All right, after a kind of sleepless night, uh, we made it to the high-speed railway station here in Nanjing. So uh, we'll have some more videos of the high-speed train going forward. So uh, talk to you guys soon.